The second challenge is to minimise delays and disruptions so people can be productive and efficient. Remote professionals work under different time zones and sometimes even working hours. Unlike in the office, you've got no shoulders to tap for a quick question. Online, people must guess whether someone is available to help them. This creates a lot of delay of responses, which in turn leads to a bottleneck for decision making. It's aggravated by a lack of central and organised access to information. Think of how much valuable information needs to be readily accessible online, should anyone need them at any point in time. So, do you have a comprehensive, always updated central repository of knowledge and information about the work that people do in your organisation? This is what all remote companies like to call SSOT, single source of truth. If you don't have this, then most likely people have to ask others to get access to information. When people are dependent on others for information, you can expect a lot of delays in the future. The other side of the challenge is that remote workers must deal with the constant interruptions. You see, some companies make the mistake of equating presence for productivity. People are pressured to respond to emails, instant messages and attend video meetings. What seems like little moments of disruptions add up and negatively affect remote workers' ability to do focused work. Disruptions cause people to lose focus and momentum, which is needed for performing complex work. Unplanned video calls, email checks and incessant instant messages keep people from getting things done. Over time, delays and disruptions contribute to operational inefficiencies which are costly and tedious for everyone in the long run. Remote staff, empowering remote working relationships.